uh, find the Taylor series for fx equals x to the power negative 2 centered at c equals 1. So my, f, uh, my fx is x to the power negative 2. To find the Taylor series, we have to find the nth derivative, nth derivative of this function. To find an nth derivative, I am searching for a pattern. So my fx is x to the power negative 2. First derivative is negative 2 times x to the power negative 2 minus 1. So that is negative 3. So second derivative, that is the derivative of this term. It is negative 2 times negative 3 x to the power negative 4. The third derivative is negative 2 times negative 3 times negative 4 times x to the power negative 5. So by looking at this pattern, I can write equation for nth derivative. So nth derivative is here I have one negative sign, here I have two negative signs, here I have three negative signs. So I can write it as negative 1 to the power n. And I have 2, 3, up to n plus 1. Because if it is third derivative, it goes up to 4. If it is second derivative, it goes up to 3. Right? So this term is n plus 1 term. Right? n plus 1. So nth derivative, I can write it as negative 1 to the power n, 2, 3, to n plus 1. Here I have negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, right? When it is 1, here I have 3. 2, it is 4. 3, it is 5. So that means this is n plus 2. So x to the power minus n plus 2. Uh, now I want to find the nth derivative at x equals 1 because the center is 1. So nth derivative at uh, x equals 1 is, uh, you can plug 1 here. So 1 to the power anything is just 1. So it becomes negative 1 to the power n, 2 times, 3 times, n plus 1. So this, this is factorial n plus 1. So we can write it as 1 times, 2 times, 3 times, right? So multiplying by 1 uh, doesn't make any change. Right? So this is factorial n plus 1. So this is my nth derivative at x equals 1. So I can write the coefficient of my Taylor series as fn1, 1 is the center, over factorial n. So fn1 is this negative 1 to the power n factorial n plus 1. So you have to divide it by factorial n because my cn is fn1 over factorial n. So when you divide n factorial n plus 1 by factorial n, it gives just n plus 1. So this is my C enter. So you can write Taylor series as summation of n equals 0 to infinity C n x minus 1 to the power n. So my C n is negative 1 to the power n, n plus 1, and x minus 1 to the power n. So this is the Taylor series for fx equals x to the power negative 2 centered at c equals 1.